I think for us, it just became simply that matter of being able to be very highly effective and efficient with one tool. What do you think the biggest misconception that school district leaders might have? Um, you've been on the side as an architect and obviously now as a leader within the school district that, you know, about the possibilities of bringing a software package in. Because I think a lot of times when we talk to schools, they're like, well, you know, our contractor has their software, our architect has a software, you know, engineers, consultants, et cetera, they're all using those tools. And we, uh, we assume we're getting the best of everything, but that's not always the case, right? Right, right. Yeah, I, I, you know, I think for for us, it's it's that matter of being able. You're in a in a district like ours. We're dealing with multiple contractors, multiple architects, multiple engineering firms, multiple resources, and and yes, a lot of them, if not all of them, have uh, what they consider their go to software. Um, and so for us, it just becomes taxing on our staff yeah. to uh, to learn how do I maneuver in this software? How do I maneuver in that software? Um, and then the next architect comes in or the next contractor comes in and says, well, we got this one and we want to use it. And so for us, it became, uh, again, back to that word, uh, efficiency. Um, I, our, we, we deal with compressed timelines. You know, it, it it's construction of schools. The date never changes. The schools right. are going to open. It doesn't matter if if the what what, what do we have a uh, snowpalooza or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> snowmageddon. Yep, yep. It doesn't matter uh, if COVID happens or snowmageddon or what happens. Material shortages. The the date kids show up is the date kids show up. Yeah. Um. And so I think for us it just became um, simply that matter of being able to be very highly effective and efficient with one tool and then put that hardship on those other vendors and that it's not to be insincere to them but we're the owner we're the ones having to manage multiple projects at a time multiple million dollars of projects at a time and um we just we kind of got to the to the point where it was taxing our staff and we said you know what we we kind of raised the white flag called mercy and said we're we're gonna bring this in-house we're gonna we're gonna dictate it you know to to our vendors to our consultants to our to our contractors um, this is, you can still use yours, but everything that's coming to the owner has to come through our site so that we, we can manage it. And as you know, we've talked about this, part of that deals with, um, dealing with the, um, the total bond dollars of, of projects. And yep. as you're working through, you know, this last bond that we just passed May, 2021, I want to say, I'm trying to look at my screen here. I think we have roughly about 70 items projects identified now not all those are brand new schools obviously right. some of those are refinishing you know tennis courts some of those are adding playground equipment but they're still a project yep. there's still dollar amounts associated to it <laughs> Absolutely. and there's still there's still that management piece that you have to keep up with and that's where having it in one system where we can see and say okay this project's closed out we can now allocate that money to savings and be able to maybe do more with our with our uh, bond dollars that our community gave us um, bringing that back to the community, bring that back to the board allows those opportunities to be had. And when you're doing that in one program, it's much easier than trying to fish that information out of multiple uh, programs. Yeah, because nobody's invented the magic wand just to make that refinish of the tennis court just happen, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. It would be nice if we could come up with that. That would be probably a pretty popular feature capability uh, for Absolutely, us. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs>